HEMA presents the challenge of staying safe while hitting each other energetically with weapons made from steel, wood or synthetic materials. Purchasing HEMA equipment involves a constraint triangle of economy, safety and longevity. Equipment which is safe for HEMA and which will last long will not be cheap. If it is cheap, it may be initially safe for HEMA but will not last. It may last long and still be cheap, but will not be safe for HEMA. These are generalizations, but economy and safety will always feature prominently in the HEMA equipment constraint triangle. HEMA protection recommendations depend on a range of factors, the most important of which are your choice of weapon and the intensity with which you will be using it. Long swords, fetters, rapiers, foils and daggers all require different levels of protection. Drilling, controlled sparring, full contact sparring and tournament combat all require different levels of protection. You should also consider future-proofing your equipment. It's best to buy gear which will be useful to you at a later date when you start to learn different weapons or styles or advance to more intense levels of training and combat. This is a long-term investment. The equipment recommended here will be sufficient for drilling and light sparring with rapier and dagger, side sword, sabre and feather. Note that this is entry level in terms of both cost and combat intensity. This is not full contact or tournament level protection. The PPT 1600 Newton mask, standard not warrior model, is a well-made mask by a reputable company at an economical price point. Our club has been using these for the last two years and we haven't had a single failure, though we know other clubs have. This mask will cost you 110 euros in Europe, 87 euros if purchased from outside Europe. It should last you a number of years of regular use with various weapons. Mine is two years old. The PPT back of head mask cover provides slight impact protection for the head and mainly protects the mask from physical damage from blades. It has a semi-rigid back of head protector which is filled with light foam and provides some occiput protection. It fits the PBT masks perfectly and fits most masks very well. There are better mask protectors but at this price point it's a good choice for drilling and sparring below full contact intensity. It costs 65 euros in Europe, 51 euros if purchased from outside Europe. An excellent alternative, which is not only cheaper but which offers even better back of head protection, is the Neyman Ossiput Protector. It's a good fit for pretty much any mask and it only costs 35 euros. It doesn't cover the top and sides of the mask but it does offer better Ossiput protection than the PBT cover. A third option is the Ossiput Protector from Gaiodoni, which only costs 24 euros. It offers about the same level of protection as the Neyman protector. Some people say it gets in the way when turning the head. We haven't used one, so we can't comment. The most extensive review of masks and back of head protection we know of was produced by David Rawlings of London Longsword. We strongly recommend you look up this video and watch it. Subscribe to the channel as well, it's a wealth of valuable information. The PBT chest protector is both economical and versatile. Even when worn under only a light jacket, it can offer you a level of protection which will resist thrusts and cuts from daggers, rapiers, side swords, sabres and feathers. It comes in two models, short and long. The short model is only 25 euros, 19 euros outside Europe, but the long model offers better protection and is only marginally more expensive at 32 euros. 25 euros outside Europe. The Spes Jessica Finley is a 350 Newton jacket designed for drilling and light sparring. By itself it offers little protection, but since it is so light and so well cut, it's ideal for combining with additional protective layers for a flexible and cost-effective solution. It costs 99 euros, 81 euros outside Europe, which is remarkably cheap considering its versatility and production quality. It is beautifully styled, definitely one of the best looking HEMA garments on the market, with a combination of modern and historical touches. 
The JF is best combined with a PBT chest protector and Neyman arm protection, as we'll show later. Out of the three jackets I own, this is my favourite for fencing with rapier and dagger. The Neyman Vambrace arm protection, padded model is shown here, is our club's choice after a year of experimentation. We used to use the Spess arm protection, which is very solid, but it's bulky, hot and difficult to secure in comparison with the Neyman arms. The Neyman Vambrace is secure with two broad Velcro straps and cover the arm from wrist to elbow. They're extremely light, they stay in place, you can put gloves over them easily due to their low profile and they offer extraordinary mobility. At 30 euros for the unpadded model, 50 euros for the padded model, we believe they are the most versatile and highest quality arm protection on the market. We've used a range of leg protection solutions from motocross shin guards to spes shin protectors. In our experience, the name and leg protection simply has no competitors in its class. It offers full leg protection from ankle to knee and wraps around the sides of the leg with well over 180 degrees of coverage. It is amazingly light for the size. You can put it on with one hand and two large Velcro straps secure it tightly without slipping. Coverage of the knee is exceptional using historically inspired side wings reminiscent of the rondelles on plate armour. At 70 euros they are not cheap, but their mobility and level of protection is simply without equal. The leather and Kevlar gloves sold by Fedearm are very popular, especially for rapier and light sparring with side sword and saber. Hard knuckle protection, EVA foam padding, long cuffs and a Kevlar palm are all attractive features. They definitely do not offer sufficient protection for even light sparring with Feder, and I have the bruises to prove it. Do not expect them to last beyond two years. These images compare a new pair with a pair which is almost two years old. However, these gloves are only 50 euros. Members of our club have tried Red Dragons, Sparring Gloves, original model, Neyman Pig Hoofs and Neyman Thox. In our experience, you throw away your Red Dragons after you've used any Neyman gloves. We recommend Thox for our entry level HEMA kit due to their combination of high protection and versatility. Unlike Red Dragons or the original Sparring Glove, you can use them easily with most rapiers, sabers, side swords and fetters. Dox need a very solid workout to break them in, but after that they perform exceptionally well. The dexterity of the index finger makes a significant difference, and the cutout at the wrist helps them fit over thick sleeves and accommodate arm protection. At 160 euros, Thox are the most expensive item in our recommended entry level kit, but we haven't found anything better at this price point, and they have excellent longevity. You will definitely still be using these after three years. Fingers are important, protect them well. This was a difficult decision and the Neyman 800 Newton standard breeches deserve an honourable mention. They are 10 euros cheaper than the PBT breeches and Neyman offer a custom tailoring service for free. The PBT 800 Newton breeches are worth the money, 126 euros in Europe, 99 euros outside, featuring removable semi-rigid hip pads, long thick padding on the front and inside of the thigh and integrated semi-rigid knee protection covering the kneecap and sides of the knee. The integrated knee protection is particularly valuable and the legs also have snaps onto which you can clip wraparound shin guards sold separately for another 40 euros. However, if you have the name and leg protection, you won't need breeches with kneecap or shin protection. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> The PBT throat protector is semi-rigid but offers good protection. It was being worn by both combatants in the exchange you just saw and definitely saved one of them from considerable inconvenience. It fits inside standard gambesons and jackets and although it can get a little hot, you do get used to it. At 38 euros in Europe, 30 outside, it's excellent throat protection for a great price.
HEMA isn't cheap, and entry-level HEMA still isn't cheap. If it was cheap, it wouldn't be safe. Our recommendations are based primarily on safety and longevity. This gear will last you years, and almost all of it is future-proof against your transition to higher levels of intensity. We strongly recommend buying HEMA-specific equipment for HEMA. It has been made by people involved in the art and who know what it requires. Anything else is a compromise. HEMA gear recommendations are always subjective and other people will have different views. To help you make an informed decision, here are some alternative perspectives and additional gear reviews.